Welcome to Lesson 1, First-Hand Data and Second-Hand Data. Data or data is any information that can be gathered from a survey or from an experiment. First-hand data is data that you gather yourself. Let's look at an example of first-hand data together. Billy asked the kids in his class what their favorite animals were to have as pets. And here is the data that he collected. So examine his data for a moment and see if you can come up with any conclusions or any statements. Anything that you can say is true based on the information that Billy collected from his classmates. One thing we can say is true in Billy's class is that more kids prefer to have dogs as pets than cats. Let's think about what else we can say based on the information that is presented to us. We can also say that gerbils are the most popular pet in the class because there's no other pet that more kids like to have as pets than gerbils. Another conclusion we can make is that three kids prefer rabbits in the class. It's a very basic and simple conclusion, but it is true based on the information that we have. Now I'm sure you've noticed that there is an extra category called other and one student chose other. Pause the video for a moment and think about why would we need an other category in a survey like this where we ask the kids what their favorite pets are. The reason why we need an other category is because we only have five pets listed. Cat, dog, gerbil, rabbit, reptile. Now are all those the only pets that exist or are there other pets? Could somebody for example have a bird as a pet or a fish as a pet? And the answer is obviously yes. So if somebody was thinking birds are my favorite pet and I don't see birds on the list of choices well then I would pick the other category because my favorite pet doesn't fit with the list. Secondhand data is data that you gather from a source like the internet or a book, but it's not data that you actually gathered yourself personally. Somebody else collected the data, you just got that information from a website or a book. So let's look at an example together. Here's a table with the average daytime high temperatures in Edmonton in every month of the year. So take a moment, examine the table carefully, and see what conclusions or what statements you can make that are true based on the information you see. One thing that we can say is that January is the coolest month of the year. We notice that in January, the daytime average temperature only reaches minus 6 degrees Celsius. There is no other month that's colder than January. We could also say that there are four months in the year where the average daytime high does not get above zero degrees Celsius. If we look, we see that January and February average highs don't reach above zero, and November and December the average highs don't reach above zero either. Even though November the average high is zero, we stated that the average high does not get above zero in four months of the year. We can make many other statements based on the data that we see. We can say, for example, that July and August are the two warmest months of the year. We could say that October is on average seven degrees colder than September. So many statements that you can make based on this information. But this information is called secondhand data because we didn't gather it ourselves. We just found it on a website, but it was information gathered by somebody else. So to review, data is any information that we gather from a survey or from an experiment. And first-hand data is specifically data that we have collected ourselves directly, like in the example that we looked at with the favorite animals in Billy's class. Second-hand data is data that somebody else collected and then posted their information in a book or a website and that's where we found it. So we looked at the example of the average daytime temperatures in Edmonton for each month of the year as our data. 
we didn't measure this data. We didn't go out there with a thermometer every day of the year, measure the high temperatures, and then average them out. Somebody else did that. We just found the information and posted it in a table. The important thing with data, whether it's first-hand or second-hand, is that we can draw some conclusions or make some statements that are true. We look at the data, we think about it, and we come up with some statements like the gerbil is the most popular animal in Billy's class or July and August are the warmest months of the year in Edmonton. So have fun collecting data and using secondhand data and coming up with your conclusions. Please watch the video again if you need to and ask your teacher for help.